Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we're going to be doing an unboxing and an overview of these power supplies. This is the ZT series of power supplies by OCZ. They are all 80 plus bronze certified and they are all 100% modular. For starters, let's take a closer look at the retail box and here we can see that these come with a five year manufacturer's warranty from OCZ and of course the 80 plus bronze certification logo. Here on the back, there are a few specs we can point out. Uh, these are rated at continuous output. That means that they're actually rated to output the wattage that you see listed on the box. That's at 45 degrees Celsius ambient temperature. A lot of power supplies will show you their peak power and not their continuous power. Uh, so it is nice that they are telling you here that you can actually get 550 watts out of this power supply. They are also using high quality 105 degrees Celsius tested electrolytic capacitors. They're built around a single 12 volt rail. And uh, let's take a closer look down here at the power chart. We can see here the single 12 volt rail for the 550 watt model with 45 amps for 540 watts total on the single rail. For our 650 watt, we have 54 amps on the 12 volt rail for 648 watts. And then finally, on our 750 watt model here, we have 62 amps on the plus 12 volt for 744 watts total. Uh, I think, oh yeah, and we also wanted to point out that they have a uh, load controlled 140 millimeter fan that is quiet and it will also vary its speed based on the load and the temperature of the power supply itself. Before I unbox, I also wanted to show a quick comparison here between the cabling that you get. Uh, you do get a few uh, fewer connectors for the 550 watt here. Uh, so for starters, you get, of course, your motherboard and CPU 4 plus 4 cable. You get two PCI Express 6 plus 2 pin connectors for the 550. And then you get three Molex, three Molex, three SATA, and three SATA. Uh, for the 650 watt, uh, you again get two PCI Express 6 plus 2 pin connectors, two 3 Molex connector cables, and three uh, three SATA ca plug cables. <laughs> so you get a total of nine serial ATA plugs there on the 650 watt version. Finally, for the 750 watt version, you actually get two CPU power connectors of 4 plus 4 each, so you can use that with the uh, for instance, a dual CPU motherboard. You get four PCI Express connectors, so that will allow you to run, for instance, SLI or Crossfire X if you're using a cards that require two plugs on each of those. And then you get the same peripheral connectors there as the 650 watt. And now for an unboxing, I'm gonna take the 750 watt model out of the box. There's the power supply itself. Comes in a nice little pouch. Here are the accessories that come along with it which will include an instruction manual there for your power supply, a heavy duty AC adapter cable to plug into the wall, and all of the modular cables that I already showed you in the uh, listing on the side of the box there. So there are all the modular cables that we already mentioned, and you do also get a Molex to floppy connector if you have a device that requires floppy power that you need to plug in. And then finally here you get four uh, zip ties there for cable management, as well as four mounting screws to mount the power supply to the back of your case. Now let's take a look at the power supply itself, right over here. And again, it does come in this pouch, which you can use to store your cables once your power supply is installed. Want to be careful, of course, not to Rip the pouch as we are unboxing. There we go. And there is the power supply itself. It has a matte black finish. Of course, your OCZ labeling here with your wattage on that side. If you flip it around, you'll see that the labeling is on both sides. So whichever orientation you have in your case, you will be able to see that logo. Here on the back, we can see our power switch as well as a vent there for the air to exhaust up on the, the uh, top or bottom, depending which way you orient your power supply. We have our 140 millimeter dual ball bearing fan. Uh, it is black in color, no LED lights. And then finally here at the back, we have our 100% modular cabling area. And uh, again, this is the 750 watt. The only real difference here between the 750 and the 650 and 550 is that you get four PCI Express plugs up here. So the other two versions only have two of those. And then here you do have two 
CPU power plugs. The only other two versions only have one of those. Other than that, all your cabling here is the same, and uh, you can plug in all your modular cables. They all, of course, have latches to keep them firmly in place once they're plugged in. And then finally here on this side, we can see our power chart once again that I showed you on the outside of the box. And here's one last look. Uh, all three of these power supplies are the same size physically. And for the modular plugs on the back, as mentioned, uh, over here on the left side we have our 750 watt model with the extra PCIe and the extra CPU power connectors. And then right here are the 650 and 550 watt models that have your standard power connectors. And that is going to wrap it up for this unboxing and overview. This has been the OCZ ZT series of 80 plus bronze, 100% modular power supplies. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. And if you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos just like it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.